Coach, I, w- I want to ask you about that quarterback room. Um, it, it, it's probably the deepest and most talented quarterback room that I can remember um, LSU having in a really long time. Uh, and I've been I grew up here, been watching LSU football my whole life. It's just a lot of guys with a lot of talent and, and experience too, guys that have been on the on the big stage. Um, how have you kind of worked through assessing that quarterback room, familiarizing yourself with those guys, and um, kind of getting to know their different talents and abilities? Great question, Cody. And first of all, starting just getting to know these guys as young men. I mean, we have guys that have been through different things in their lives. They've been raised in different ways and been around different styles of football. And when you get a chance to have just one-on-one time with each one of them talking about uh, life, everything other than football, and you start to learn about them as a young man and then see how they learn, see how they communicate, what are their strengths? What are things, and, and we want to continue to build those, what are some things that we need to, to grow and build in addition to their strengths? And then getting them in the meeting rooms. We have a little bit of time right now that we're allowed to meet with them and, and we have football school going on. So we're able to introduce some things. How do they, A, absorb it, and then B, how do they, because as the quarterback, you're out there directing. How are they handling that from a communication standpoint, from an execution standpoint? And this, this room, you know, I, I don't have the depth of time here like you do, Cody. One thing I can to compare them to past rooms, but I just know this room. We have really good young men in it. I expect a lot of them. Uh, they're being challenged and they will continue to be challenged because we're trying to be elite here. And we're going to do that by applying pressure and it allows them the opportunity to challenge their teammates as well. So I'm very pleased with the young group that we have. I think Coach Odron's done a great job here assembling good quarterbacks in this room that we'll keep adding to. And I'm excited to see these guys grow as we hit to spring ball here in a few weeks. Speaking of parents, we have a question from Courtney Dunbar, who uh, identifies herself as a, a Nebraska mom. So you, you, you know right. Nebraska well. I'm going to try to um, get Courtney on here. I'm going to allow her to talk. And Courtney, if you want to, you can, uh, you can unmute yourself and you can ask Coach your question. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I can't even, I mean, I know where you grew up and, and we're so excited to have a Nebraska and an LSU. Um, right. so, Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, very excited. I know because I grew up in the state as well, Nebraska yeah. football legacy and how proud we are because we always really valued character in these teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom Osborne always valued character and they, they cared a lot about the players, just like you were talking about here. I'm curious about what you carried for from what you learned by being a part of that institution in college into how you coach now. Do you recognize this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best. That's so awesome. Hey, so, and I'll tell you, Courtney, first of all, where are you from? Are you from there? I'm from Nebraska City. I've lived in Omaha for years. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I have uh, my sister in Omaha, great friends in Omaha and, and family there. But yeah, what have I carried? I'll tell you what, I, I grew up, uh, outside of a small farming town, O'Neill, Nebraska. And I'm very, very proud of that. And the people there and my parents to my high school coach, Daryl Schneider, my high school uh, football coach is coach Daryl Schneider. He's still coaching there. And my high school basketball coach, Mike Pardon, are a couple of guys that uh, greatly impacted me. And, and I know I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for them. Like they're two of the people that impacted me at the very beginning. And when you're from a a farming ranching town like that, uh, you learn to figure things out and you learn to progress, challenge each other. You understand that things are not going to be easy. And and it certainly hasn't been easy. You can talk to my wife who's handling moving and and getting into a new house, handling six kids while I'm here in the office. Uh, Nothing's easy, but, but we really enjoy it. We love the challenge and something coming from there. Like, I feel like it's been so easy to be the last few places I've been and even before that, but just focused on like in Charlotte with the Panthers, you have so many great people there uh, in that organization and in that city and coming to Baton Rouge, just so many great people here, very hospitable people that are very passionate about uh, their brand, about LSU football, no different than the University of Nebraska and what you expect, I'm sure, from the university and what product that that um, really had been putting out in the past. Uh, You know, that's something that... uh, Uh, that we that we aspire to uh, continue what has been done here you know in recent history is keep this thing going and I think when you focus on taking the high ground like coach Osborne's book says and you know it's a lot of fun for me Mickey Joseph our receivers coach do you remember watching him play? oh yes yeah the only time that I remember my mom's mom 
uh, my grandma Ziegler, who lives in North Platte, Nebraska, um, my, and I feel awful, but I can't remember. She's like 94 years old now. But my grandma, the one time that I visibly remember her and my grandfather being very upset was when we were watching Nebraska play on TV at Oklahoma. I was probably six or seven years old and Mickey got hit laid out of bounds. Yeah. And do you remember that? No, I don't. But I know all about that rivalry. I yeah, I mean, great yeah. rivalry. But yes. Mickey ended up being out for the game and I had never seen and I was too young to really understand. But my my grandmother got her blood pressure up pretty high with that. But and it's great getting to work with him because I remember watching him play when I was young. But oh, yeah. but the thing is, is when it's about the kids and it's about the character, it's about integrity, everything else is going to fall in line. But when we get those things done and we have very firm ground, it allows you to challenge the kids at a different level. Like even Christian McCaffrey, that kid is such an elite talent and an elite human being. Him and I had times where we butted heads with each other. We challenged each other. We knew that we both loved each other. So we were able to challenge each other with great respect. And if you have developed that, and that's no different than what you do in your profession or anybody else listening, when you really build that with a firm foundation of trust, then you can have a relationship and then you can challenge each other. You can work to be better. And I think that's what our staff does here. We had a great meetings this morning. We got a lot done today. Uh, we got in here early. We've been knocking things out and, and there are some things we challenge each other on and we need to, because when we do that, we're not just doing it because you know, because it was done in the past or because, you know, this is what one person wants to do. We're doing it because it's what's best for us in the here and right now. Yeah, it's ideal. And I'll tell you just, uh, and I know you know this because you uh, college world series in the summer, we always liked when LSU makes that yeah. as well, because Nebraskans view the same character out of that fan base that they view out of the rounds. So it's a huge compliment. Second year uh, season ticket holder, you're going to see us coming out of Nebraska all fall. So we're very excited for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank and you, I, Courtney. I have great memories yes. of that College World Series. And I remember as a kid watching Warren Morris hit that home run. And I, I was, I can't remember. I feel like, did they beat Miami in another one? Uh, the, that, that was against my, I don't think Miami was in another final. I don't think okay. so. Okay. The Warren Morris was against Miami. Yeah. Okay. Because yep. there was another one and I was young, but I'm pretty sure they won another one up there. And I was actually at that game, but uh, they, anyway. they want a bunch. <laughs> yeah, they want a bunch. I've always had great respect. And, you know, uh, Jack Marucci, I'll show you this here. He actually, we were talking about technology with the quarterbacks. I, I got to take some cuts with one of his bats in the cage there at his uh, facility. I'm a huge baseball fan. Yeah, no, no, no better bats yeah. in the world than uh, the Marucci bats.